Hi, my name is Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech, and today I'm going to quickly show you how to create an accordion block in Articulate Rise 360. So let's get straight into it, guys. So we are in my Rise 360 account, and if you've been following all the other videos, you know that we are working on Biochem 101. So I'm going to click on Biochem 101 course. And I've already created a lesson called Accordion Block. So I'm going to click on Add Content there and I'm going to say Lesson. So the first thing I normally do is that I will add some text to introduce the Accordion Block. So I go and I click on Text. And by default, it gives me a paragraph with heading, but I just want a paragraph alone. So that's not a problem. I go to the left corner here uh, where it says paragraph with heading. I click on the drop down arrow and instead I choose paragraph. So there is this placeholder paragraph that Rise gives me. I can go to edit and there's the text. I highlight the placeholder text and then I will now add in the text that I want. So I'm going to type in some text that I want to introduce the accordion block. So the text I've added is now that we have identified the different organelles in an animal cell, let's discuss their functions in the cell. Click the plus to learn more. So I am actually going to highlight that plus there. And once I highlight it, you see the format toolbar comes up and I'm going to bold it. And I'm also going to make it the color blue and then I'm going to click out of it and I'm going to see how it looks. So there it is. So that's the text that I'm going to use to introduce the accordion block. Now there are always two ways in which you can add a block. You can use the quick insert here. So once I click on this plus, it will give me the option now to add the different blocks. Or you can go to the to the block toolbar and click from there. Now, if you look at the different options, you don't see accordion as one of the quick options. So what you need to do is click on all blocks. And it gives you that same menu that I just showed you when you click the plus sign. So let's see, it's under interactive. So I click on interactive and then a new menu comes up. And top one there is accordion. So I'm going to click on accordion. So Rise has given us an accordion block with three options by default with placeholder text. So this is what an accordion block looks like. So at first you see embracing discovery. And if I click on the plus sign, you see there is that information. And you can continue with gaining insight. And all of this is um, placeholder stuff that you can replace. Now, and if you want to return to the minimal view, you just click on the minus sign there. So now, how do we edit this? It's just like the other blocks if you've been following this series. You go to the top left and you click on edit. Now, if you don't see these options like edit and accordion and so on, just mouse over your accordion block and the options should come up. So you click on edit and then now you see the three items and you are able to edit everything there. Okay, so for item one, I'm going to type in mitochondria there. So you just highlight the, the placeholder text. Then you type in the text that you want. So in this case, I want uh, mitochondria. And then you would put the description that you want for mitochondria. So this is where you give all the information. So you, you do that by again, highlighting the, the um, placeholder text and then adding your text in it. And as you can see, once you highlight text in the edit bar, there is this formatting toolbar where you can bold, italicize, underline, you can even change the color of the text and so on when you add text in there. So that's good. Um, so I think we, we have that covered. I'm just going to leave, because this is a quick example, to leave the placeholder text there. The other thing you can do is that in the, in the third row here, where there's the picture, the placeholder picture, if you click on edit, which is on the right hand side, 
you can choose to replace the present image with an image or media video and so on that you have saved on your computer or you can replace the placeholder image with something else that is on the um, from the content library uh, you can even replace it with links from the internet you can crop the image you can you can add all tags or you can even just remove the image so when you remove the image there's no image there's just the, the title so let's let's click out into the main space this is what it's going to look like so you see there's mitochondria there. and if i click on the plus it's just text because that's what that's the style we wanted just to have text alone that's fine now if i return to edit let's say i did want to add an image you just go to the camera icon you click on it and i'm going to pull one from the stock images that articulate has so i'm going to use the content library i'm going to type in mitochondria and i don't want a photo i want an illustration so i click the drop down menu next to photo and i choose illustration and i'm going to choose this one and it loads up okay i can decide how i want it if i want it in the center and then let's click out of it in the main way let me see so this is what it looks like so this learner will see mitochondria and then when they click on the plus sign it's going to expand and give you some text con explaining what mitochondria is about and then there's a picture there and of course if this was the real deal you'd have had a better diagram a more annotated diagram than this with a lot more details and so on of the mitochondria depending on the level of which you want your learners to, to engage. All right, so let's go to the top left again, click on edit. And now we go to the second item or the second row of the accordion table, if you think about it that way. And let's say I'm going to put nucleus. So we're going to talk about the nucleus now. And in this one, again, you would, you would highlight the text, the placeholder text that is there and you can add your own text. So let's say I had a really nice description of what the nucleus is and whatever I want there. Um, because an example is gonna leave the placeholder text. And for this one, I'm going to click on the camera icon. But this time, instead of adding an image or a video, I'm going to use something from the net. So I'm going to go to YouTube and there's this one, let's say it was all about the nucleus. And then you just have to click on share and then you click on copy to copy the YouTube link. And then I return to the course. I click on embed from web. They say paste URL or iframe code here. So I just click in that box there and I, and then you click either command V if you're using a Mac or command or control V if you're using a Windows computer to paste the URL in and then you can just click enter and that's going to add the video the YouTube video that you have so let's see how that looks I'm going to go to the main space again let's click on the minus to shrink it so there's mitochondria and we just added nucleus let's see how the nucleus looks so there you go so there's the title there nucleus there's the information about the nucleus and then there's a video to back it up so that's how you create um, the accordion so there's a lot of information that the learner can get access to and expand on now let's return to editing so we click on the edit button once again now there's a few things other things i just want to show you quickly you are not limited to just three items if you click add item you get a fourth item and you could keep going to add more the number of items that you wish so this has a fourth row you could go to a fifth row and so on so let's say i wanted to add one more there's a fifth row so if i come out into the main space this is what it looks like so there's the three that we were talking about before now we have added two more so there are five in all and each one of them you can go to the edit click on edit and edit them further the other thing that you want to do is that you can also remove item just like how you add items in you can remove items 
So let's say item five was something that I wanted to remove. I just go to the right hand side and I click on the trash can and that removes the item. And I can also remove item four. So now we are back to the three items that we originally had. The other cool thing that you can do is that you can convert an accordion interaction to a tabs interaction by just going to the top left here where you see the word accordion and now you can click on the drop menu, the drop arrow and instead of choosing accordion, you choose tabs, right? And basically what tabs does is that you have the information now in a more horizontal way. So you see it's not one on top of each other, it's it's side by side. So there's the mitochondria there. If I want to know more about the nucleus, I click on the nucleus tab. There's the information there. And then there was this placeholder one that we didn't touch, which also has this information here. So that's how it looks. Um, oh, speaking of how it looks, we can actually look at that. Let's click on the preview and let's see how it looks on the other, on the different devices. So we already know this is how it looks on the computer. Let's see how it looks on a tablet such as the iPad and let's see how it looks on a mobile phone. So this is what it's going to look like on a mobile phone. All right, that's um, portrait. Let's look at landscape. So this is what it's going to look like on the landscape mode. So please visit our Weekend EduTech channel to view our other videos on Rise360 and other educational technologies. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing to your channel. Thank you for viewing. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.